Hello everyone. Um, I thought I'd do a little video really quick to talk about what I, how I feed these fish. So before I do it, and I'll talk about it in stages, but before I do it, just the bottom line is my um, method is to um, make sure that I feed the minnows, the minnow species um, first, give them a good dose so they're the theory is that I can get them full enough that they won't, um, that I can feed the darters and have food get to the bottom of the tank. But it doesn't necessarily work out that way. Um, all of the minnows are fat pigs and they eat a lot. Um, you can see some of them feeding on the rocks right now, the algae on the rocks. They do that all, line, all day long, they graze on the, on the algae, most of the species do. Um, especially the dace, all of the dace and the river chub sometimes will. Um, I've even seen the satin fin shiners grazing on it. Um, that's one reason I don't mind algae growing in the tank. It is some of it is a food source. Certain species they doesn't seem, they don't seem to like. Uh, the darters obviously are carnivorous. They don't eat algae. They eat mainly bugs and little fish uh, in the water, uh, invertebrates and worms and stuff like that. So. Uh, what I usually do is I start off feeding flakes. I use uh, spirulina, I guess is how you pronounce it. It's a vegetable flake. And then I use uh, blackworm earthworm flakes. Um, I'm not sure if you can see them or not, but I'm going to try to show you what they look like. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but that's the uh, earthworm and blackworm flakes. And I bought them all from this online dealer. Here's the spirulina. It's a big package. Um, Aquatic Foods is the company. And um, aquaticfoods.com. You can find them on Amazon or go to their website. Um, I also have these pellets. Uh, the fish eat them somewhat. They don't really like them a lot. Uh, my river chub used to like these the bigger pellets, which are a larger size pellet. Um, earthworm and blackworm sticks, uh, but he won't eat them anymore. He, spit, he eats them and spits them out. I mean, he was eating them really well for a while, and I, I got them specifically for him because he's a bigger fish. I thought the bigger meal, so he just eats the same thing as everybody else. But anyway, after I feed them flakes, I drop in the this food's called Vibrabites. Um, and you can look them up online. V I B R A bites. Um, the, all the fish eat these things except for some of the darters. Um, the green side, my big green side darter eats them. A couple of the other, uh, the tessellated, there's one tessellated darter that eats them. Um, and I think one of the other green sides eats them. The other darters tend to ingest them and spit them out, but I, I actually think I've seen them swallow and actually eat they look like little tiny worms um, but they're they're obviously um, prepared foods like flakes but they're they sink to the bottom really well and uh, I try to get to do them as the fla as the fish are feeding on the flakes I draw throws in throw these in there and all the fish like them the the river chub really likes them a lot and then I follow up with either once a week I feed live blackworms to them. Um, I use a turkey baster. Um, so it's a really long turkey baster that reaches all the way down to the bottom of my 75 gallon tank and I'll feed the blackworms and try to get the darters as full as I can on them, the live food, and the other fish of course will eat them um, as well. They, they raid the, them. Um, and then I do the same thing for frozen blood worms. At, at one time I was mixing in frozen brine shrimp, but these fish really don't like it, and I just don't want a lot of wasted food. Whatever I put in here, the flakes you'll see, well, they'll be gone in five minutes. Then when I add the viber bites, they're gone in like three minutes. Um, and then when I finish up with the, the frozen or live food, they're, they pretty much eat it all. So, all right, so let's do the demonstration. Um, I'm, not, I'm using a different camera today. This is my Olympus camera. I don't have a tripod for it or anything, and it's not as steady as the, as the iPhone camera. My iPhone died. Um, I ordered a new iPhone, so I won't be getting that. 
a, a, a new phone for a couple weeks until my phone is in stock. Um, I ordered a, a 13 Plus, so we'll see. It supposedly has a better camera and better resolution videos and more features. I can even do slow motion, so I'm kind of excited about that for these videos. Um, I want to share a good quality experience for everybody about this tank and other outdoor experiences I have. Alright, so um, I'm going to start off feeding the flakes. Um, once I administer all of the food, I'll grab the camera. It'll be handheld and probably a crappy video, but at least um, you'll get to see the fish a little closer up. Um, but you'll get to see the feeding frenzy. Right now I'm kind of standing in the background and they forgot that I'm here. They're kind of naturally behaving like they would while they're waiting for food in a river or when I'm not standing around the tank. So let's get to it. I'm going to start off with some flakes. Uh, I'm going to start off with the veggie flakes. See what happens. Fish are already excited. I use a pretty good pinch of these. That's a lot of flakes, really, for, you know, a lot of people say don't feed much, but I want my plants to grow, so there's certainly going to be enough nutrients in here. And the fish seem to eat all of them up. You can see, look at the minnows going crazy. Satin fins love them. But I don't want just vegetables. I want to give them some uh, protein, too, so I feed them. The next pinch will be a smaller pinch of the earthworm and blackworm flakes to add to the diet. So I'll put those in there. And then I'll wait a few minutes. Um, it's crazy, all the fish get out, come out in the open and feed like, you know, even the darters when they're not eating this stuff, they're out excited and looking and searching. But that ripper chub, the frady cat of the tank is the biggest fish in there, goes under the cave and hides. So, I mean, I'd probably drop some pellets in there for him and see if he'll eat them, but the first thing he did was hide under the grass when I started feeding him. I'm not even sure where he is right now. I need to bring a flashlight down here so I can do these demonstrations more effectively. So I'll redo this vi the uh, feeding video again in the future. I might do another one when I feed a live black worms. But, yeah, he's... Sorry. I don't know where he went. He's hiding under the rocks or in the weeds somewhere. Come on, River Chuck. There he is. He was hiding in the weeds. All right, I'm going to drop it. Oh, he went under the rocks. Okay. I think he was more afraid of when I moved the light. So the lighting is against the back wall. and Maybe that spooks him. I don't know. And it's not me. Because he was, when I sat in his chair earlier, he was staying right in front. But I'm not going to throw these, these pellets are pretty good size. I'm not going to drop those in there just to go to the bottom. I mean, the other fish will peck on them and they dissolve and they eventually will eat them. But to me, it seems like a waste. Um, all right, so he's looking for food. Let's see if I can get him to react to this. He didn't even react to it. All right, I'll try one more. Maybe he just didn't see it. Well, the other fish, he turned his back on it, so that's the other time thing is, I'm sorry, that's the other thing, he sometimes doesn't uh, even see them. I don't like to drop mass quantities of them because it would just pollute the tank. All right, let's drop another one in there and see if he can see that one. Oh, he saw it, and then he, didn't re he went back in the cave. I think a satin pin shiner got a hold of that one. All right, well, enough of that nonsense. Let's go right to the Bible Bites. I'm running low on these. But I have a brand new pack in the other room. And these lasted me a long time. I think I've had these for six months. And this pack, and I still use quite a bit, so. All right, so let's drop those in there. i put a little extra in because it'll all get eaten. And little garters. I want to see if, I like to see, make sure some gets to the bottom so they have a chance. Um, but you can see the fish really go nuts over these things too. 
Even the river chub comes out to them. All right, I'm going to let you guys watch these fish feed while I go get my, uh, I'm going to get some frozen blood worms to feed them. I'll be right back. them with the turkey baster and make sure the darters get fed first and then and then I guess I'll give some to the river chub since he's such a crazy cat. I do want to make sure he gets some food because if he starts getting really hungry he's getting big enough that he might start thinking about preying on the smaller darters and I don't want that to happen. So far so good. He's been a model citizen. Um, He'll sometimes go out and chase them around a little bit, but he doesn't actually try to bite them or feed them. Not that I've seen anyway. I like how that silver jaw minnow is hanging around in the, around the plants in the current. That was cool. Fish really seem to like the, the new river star grass. Alright, these are melted enough that I think I can go ahead and feed them. I have four cubes, which seems like a lot, but... Alright, so that rainbow darter that's coming up to the tip of the... He's always at the... He and this big green side are always after the... The first one's up to the, um, so I like to reward them because they're a couple of my original fish. Um, make sure they get a nice mouthful. And then I'll squirt some around. Let's make sure that these daughters get some. I'll put a little squirt over there. Uh, since I put the star grass in, boy, the current's really changed. This used to be my little feeding area where the, the food would kind of stabilize. And uh, so we'll spread some around and make sure these darters on this side of the tank get some. But all the fish used to congregate right here. Uh, let's put some up on the rocks too. I get the river chub to come out. There he was. Mr. Greenside got a good mouthful. Come on, river chub, come out again. Alright, he's under there feeding, I guess, the other fish are taking advantage of it. There's a little more in the container. I'll see if I can get those down to the bottom as well. I'm going to put them on this side of the tank and make sure these garters over here get adequate food. star grass I guess. Last thing I do, make sure I get all the food out of the, get some water in the, in the uh, turkey baster and clean it out make sure all the food's out of there and into the tank. I don't want food to die in here and create a uh, problem. And then there's always residual amount of food that's sitting in my container. Alright, that's done with the feeding. I'm gonna Move the lights, close the lid, kids. 
And let's just sit back and enjoy them for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna see if get a little closer look at these fish. Sorry about the camera. I'm not very steady. But, uh, we'll just do a quick run down. I see here's how that silver jaw loves hanging in the current right there. That's pretty cool. Other fish do that too. Uh, I've noticed the that long nose dace likes to hang around the current, and these satin fins do also. And then what the way I like this current running currently, I mean, <laughs> no pun intended. But uh, the way it's pushing across the tank, uh, the front of the tank, really does make it look like a stream. Um, I'm, the plants are breaking it up at the back. Um, all that area kind of breaks up the current so it doesn't create a circular eddy. There's a little bit of current around the top going backwards towards the, you can see the food particles heading back in a, in a circular motion. But for the most part, where the fish hang out, it looks just like a, a laminar flow current. And down under these roots, the Vallisneria jungle. There's a couple darters hanging around in there. There's a fantail darter back there. A couple tessellated darters. They tend to like this end of the tank. The green sides like the middle of the tank. We're talking darters. There's Mr. Big Green Side. It's about six inches long. And then the rainbow darters pretty much go everywhere. Often you'll see the rainbow darters and the fantails up and around the rocks uh, looking for eggs that the satin fins um, are laying. And then here's some uh, darters and other fish hunting the morsels of food that I've placed up in the front. Um, All right, so that's a pretty long video. Thank you for watching.